write a C++ program to design a function template for swapping numbers of generic type. In this program, we have to write a function template for swapping two numbers of generic type. It can be integers, it can be float, or swapping any type of numbers, we have to write a generic function. So in order to create a function template, first we have to mention the data type, a new data type by using template keyword, template followed by less than and greater than, and within that we have to use the keyword either class or type name, followed by a new data type name. So here type one act as a new generic data type. Then we are defining the function. The function name is do swap. The return data type of the function is void. It takes two parameters, parameters of type one type. We have created a new data type, which is named as type one. So type one A and type one B. Here A and B are of type one data type. We are using call by reference. That's why ampersand symbol is written prior to the parameters. Then the value of A will get stored into a temporary variable T of type one and it will get swapped between A and B. So we have used a do swap method for swapping two numbers A and B, parameter values A and B. A and B are of type type one. In the main program, first we create two integer variables, x1, y1 of integer type. x1 and y1 are of integer type. And by using scene statement, we accept the value of x1 and y1. By using cout statement, we are displaying the value of x1 and y1. After displaying the value of x1 and y1, we have to call the function do swap. So while we are calling the function, we have to call the function by function name and the actual values. The actual values are x1 and y1. But prior to that, we have to mention the data type of type 1. So first we mention the data type of type 1 as int, and then we have passed the parameter values x1 and y1. So x1 and y1 will go to the parameters a and b and type 1 will become integer type. So it will swap the content of x1 and y1. So it is, we are using call by reference. So changes made in the parameters a and b will reflect back to x1 and y1. So the content will get swapped between x1 and y1. The same function do swap we use with the float type so we have declared two float variable x2 and y2. And by using scene statement, we accept the value of x2 and y2. And before performing swapping, we display the value of x2 and y2. Then after that, we call the function do swap once again. So while we are calling do swap, we have to mention the data type as float. So type 1 will be considered as float here. And we pass the value x2 and y2. So x2 and y2 will go to the parameters a and b of do swap method and it will get exchanged because of call by reference. The content changed on a and b will reflect back to x2 and y2. So after the swapping, we display the value of x2 and y2, which is of float type. So in this program, we have used the same function do swap for swapping to integer numbers and then after that we have used do swap for swapping to float numbers. So here we have used do swap with generic type 
generic type is mentioned by using the type name as data type name as type one. It is created by using a keyword template followed by class and type name, which is type one. Execute and see the program output. 